This is the long range Nissan Leaf, but how healthy is that EV battery pack after five years and 107,000 kilometers? The EV haters have predicted that I need to change the battery. There's only one way to find out. Roll the intro. Welcome back to the channel. This is Yuki, the long range Nissan Leaf. We imported this from Japan many years ago, but let's have a close look at the battery and we'll see how healthy it is and we'll see if it needs replacing. The main EV battery, also known as the drive or traction battery, is located underneath the car. That's the battery that makes the wheels go round. Not to be confused with the 12 volt battery underneath the bonnet, which runs lights, radio, dash, power windows, etc. It has a 62 kilowatt hour battery pack, which only has 56 kilowatt hours of storage, and it leaves a buffer top and bottom to protect that EV drive battery from overcharge and undercharge. The battery weighs roughly 450 kilos or a thousand pounds in the old money. The car has an indicative range of 385 kilometers, but the more real world range is 270 to 340 kilometers on the open road. We analyzed the drive battery on the Nissan Leaf with an app on the iPhone called Leaf Spy. To connect Leaf Spy to the car's computer, we use a little wireless dongle that connects into the diagnostics port located underneath the steering wheel in the Nissan Leaf. Okay, Kaz, now has Leaf Spy synchronized with the dongle? Yes. Okay, let's have a look at the state of health of the battery after five years and 107,000 kilometers. What is it, Kaz? 90.56%. Wow, so we've still got roughly 90% of the battery. That's gonna piss the EV haters off. Let's have a closer look at those numbers, Kaz. Okay. This is the least by information that matters, battery cells page. On the horizontal scale, we have the number of modules, which is 96. Each module contains three cells. The vertical scale is the module voltage. The state of health of this battery is 90.56%. Far from dead, as the EV haters would have you believe. So this drive battery has degraded a little bit over 9% in five years, which is pretty good for a drive battery with no active cooling capabilities. It's only air cooled. More modern day EV batteries have active cooling. So the drive battery is cooled with an internal coolant. So how does this affect range? Because the drive battery has degraded a little bit over 9%, we would have lost between 35 and 40 kilometers range off a brand new car. But let's clear up some misinformation first. The drive battery on this long range Nissan Leaf will never, ever, ever have to be replaced. The drive batteries in these Nissan Leafs generally degrade quickly over the first 10% and more slowly for the next 10% down to 80%. So in the next six to eight years, this Nissan Leaf will hit the 80% mark. Even at 80%, this car is more than drivable Instead of having that ideal range over 300 kilometers, you now have a range that's around the 240, 250 kilometer mark. And it is still a worthwhile car, even if it's roughly 13 or 14 years old. The drive battery in this Nissan Leaf is an old lithium iron battery, and it's not really manufactured in great quantities anymore. More modern day electric vehicles today use a LFP or lithium ion phosphate battery. And these are utilized by the two biggest EV manufacturers in the world today, Tesla and BYD. And these LFP or lithium ion phosphate batteries have less degradation over time. So they're even better. So at the end of the day, the drive battery in this long range Nissan Leaf is a okay. 
and more modern day electric vehicles don't generally use this battery anymore. It is an old generation battery. As always, if you're interested in buying an EV, don't listen to the EV haters. They know nothing. Get the lived experience from real people who drive EVs. You can check that out in the forum in the description down below. Get the facts, not the bullshit, and make your own choice. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe and hit that bell if you want. Share this video with an EV hater. It will make their day, trust me. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Squat. Oh, I'm too old for this. Oh, I'll try that. Oh, that hurts the knees. That's what happens when you're 50.